Behind me, you'll see the NASA G3 as well as the GE Aerospace FTB Flying Testbed 747. I've been helping out with the Codex flight test, the Contrail Optical Depth Experiment, partnered with NASA to use LiDAR to measure contrails. This is a specially modified aircraft. Uh, it was originally in service with Japan Airlines. GE purchased it in 2010. We have special instrumentation that can more precisely measure the outside air temperature and pressure, altitude, as well as humidity, which is very important for contrail generation. What we've been doing on these research flights is coordinating at the flight planning stage. And then in real time while we're flying, we're actually making those measurements with the instrument that measures water vapor at the location of the aircraft. All of this is building confidence in the science. It's fundamental to what we do. And we hope in the future that a solution like this will be available to pilots to make small deviations to avoid creating the clouds in the first place. If we take the production engine, the CF-6 off a of number two station, we replace it with the engine under test, whatever the test article is. And then we have converted this airplane as a, essentially a flying laboratory. There's a lot that we, as a science and engineering community, don't understand about contrails in our formation, and it's setting the stage for future engine development. The term RISE stands for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines. RISE is a technology program. Technology programs are really important. They give us space to innovate, to learn, to explore, and to prepare for the next generation of products that, when ready, will be deployed into the fleet, lift millions of people up into the sky, and bring them home safely again. Contrails are very interesting. Scientific consensus is growing that they have a warming effect on the climate. However, very large uncertainties remain. So when we think about RISE, that key word there in the RISE acronym is sustainable. And what we're trying to get at the heart of is what is sustainable and how does it apply to things beyond carbon emissions? So we're here to study the optical properties of contrails and use LIDAR to look at if we can really map how contrails form, if they persist and how long their lifetime is, and then how they spread out into form contrail cirrus which have the biggest impacts we think to climate. And all of this is in hopes to come together to support the future of flight as we think ahead to our future products.